We're up. All right, let's go. Release yourself, release yourself from desire, from impulse, logic and rationales are excuses for the weak. Release yourself, your heart's voice, your internal scream. In exchange for a lost voice, grab hold of your proof of life. Never let it go. this.
everything. Heh <laughs> heh! 
Come on down!
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh. 
Welcome to the Velvet Room.
Welcome to the Velvet Room.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh. 
Welcome to the Velvet Room.
this one. Persona! Great, Senpai. Go in for the kill. Keep going, Senpai. Oh, guys. Just the result I expected.
not good. Darkness won't work. Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard Let's now. Let's go!
Be careful. Light's no I good on this one. All yours!
Be your health, Senpai. Welcome to the Velvet Room.
道。
I'm surprised you made it this far. Allow me to confirm the crimes you've committed thus far. You had suspicions that this world was dangerous, yet you threw Mayumi Yamano into the TV. Knowing full well that Miss Yamano died here, you did the same to Saki Konishi. <sighs> Not only that, but you duped Namatame into taking over your murder attempts while you watched like a spectator at a game. When the disappeared stopped dying, you sent a warning letter to ensure more victims. Even when a copycat killer arose, you had the gall as a detective to eliminate a suspect under investigation. Two people died in the last six months, and a young girl is now in critical condition. But that's not all. If at any turn something had gone wrong, many more would have succumbed. All for some foolish excitement, like a criminal reveling in the chaos he creates! Yeah? So what's your point? All I did was put people in here. It's the world that really kills them, isn't it? This world reflects people's thoughts. Which, oh dear, does that mean the real culprits are everyone on the outside, including you? To hell with that! You did that stuff knowing full well those people were gonna die! If that's not a crime, then what is? <laughs> You're so self-righteous. How can you say that? Aren't you a police officer? Out of everything you could have been, didn't you specifically choose to join the police? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just because someone joins the police doesn't make them some kind of agent of justice. You know why I applied? So I could legally carry a gun. That's all. You'd be surprised how many are like that. I thought it would be fun, too, but to tell the truth, that was a wash. Everyone around me was such an idiot. I made one tiny mistake, and they all got on my case and sent me out here to Nowheresville as punishment. I was bored shitless and wondering what to do next when I discovered this power. For crying out loud, why a bastard like you? A gift for having to put up with this lame job out in Nowheresville, I guess. I did that stuff because I could, and it got interesting, so I watched. That's your reason? You can't be serious! 
You really don't care what happens to our world? Let's be honest. There's nothing great about the real world, is there? It's just dull and annoying as hell. No one accepts that's the way things are. They're just stuck with it because they can't deny it either. Those who actually succeed in life, they just happen to be born with a magic ticket called talent. If you don't have it, you can either accept or deny that fact until you die. That's your only choice. Once you realize that, all you have left in life is despair. The ultimate game over. Wouldn't it be better if that kind of reality was wiped away? That's complete BS! Brats like you are so damn naive. You piss me off. Listen, you might have hopes and dreams right now, but that's only because you know nothing about reality. One day you'll see. You'll be faced with a boring reality that boxes you in, no matter where you go. You're the only boring thing here! If you want to disappear, go ahead! Stop dragging us into it! <sighs> Stop yelling, punk. I understand you're all afraid and gotta act tough to cover it up, but jeez. I'm telling you all this based on my own experience in life. Think about it for a second. Once everyone turns into shadows, they'll still keep on living, oblivious to all the things around them. So how's that different from the way it is now? No, this'll make things much easier for everyone. Easier? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, how many people out there actually think about what's real or what's right and wrong? Next to none, I bet. It's useless to think about those things in the first place. You don't get anything out of facing reality, and there's no way to change it either. I mean, what could be more boring than brooding over things you can't change? It's better to just ignore them and believe only what you want to believe in life. Doesn't that sound a lot easier? It would be awesome if everyone's life could be that easy. No matter who you are, your lifespan is about 80 years or so, right? Then it'd be easier if we all just became shadows. No need to hold back anything. No more pretending we don't see things. Honestly, we don't need our world anymore. Better to let it be swallowed up and for mankind to turn into shadows. That's what all those people who are scared to death really want. So it's my duty to see that they get it. Nobody wants anything like that! It's just you, dumbass! Jeez, don't you remember what it was like when your shadow came out? It must have been enjoying life far more than you. Be careful! I don't know what's happening! You all saw shadows as mere monsters, didn't you? These things move on pure instinct. They go wild because you defy them. You annoying little brats are the ones who are wanted in the new world! Speak for yourself! Living is too painful for you, but you don't want to die? Of course no one would understand. It makes no sense. You're just throwing a tantrum like a kid who can't have his way! People can't live alone. If you give in and sever your ties to human society, it will naturally become hard to live in it. Yet you refuse to face life and admit your fault, running from your own humanity like a coward. And though you claim to find life troublesome, you cause nothing but trouble for many others. Your twisted logic is that of an immature, egotistic brat. Shut up! Stop, Stop trying, trying to act all tough! tough. You, you guys can't, can't even stand, stand on your own, own unless you, you deny, deny everything, everything I said! Stupid teenagers! You have no idea what kind of shit I've been through! Favored by the world, my ass! I'm gonna say it flat out! You're just a worthless criminal! Here he comes! This'll probably be our last battle. Let's hit him with everything we've got! The world is about to change! Your existence won't belong there! I thought I could just leave you be, but you're like a plague! I'll have to get rid of all of you! Let's do it! If we work together, there's no chance we could lose to a man like this! Shut up! Get lost! Get the hell out of my sight! I can't believe he's the one! That bastard! We can't lose, no matter what! Persona! All yours!
<laughs> Come on down! I am thou. Persona? But that can't be! Persona! All yours! <laughs> Persona! Come on down! Go forth! <laughs> Come on down! I am thou. There! Damn brats! Shut up and let me finish you off! You mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> They're so I am thou. There. Dumbass. Kanji's been hit. Someone help him. Persona! All yours! Uh, punk! <laughs> Come on down! Such a pain in the ass! I'll kill you! Just like I did those other ones! Dumbass! Persona! <laughs> Come on down! 
Don't get scared. I'm with you. Let's go. <laughs> There's Sona! Go forth! gonna disappear soon, no matter what. I didn't have anywhere to go back to anyways. Everyone's gonna become shadows. <laughs> what the? All humans will become shadows, and I shall descend upon the united world as the master of order. Descend? Order? What's with this guy all of a sudden? What's happening? Guys, this isn't Adachi. It's someone completely different. Both this world and yours will soon be enclosed in a fog that never lifts. It will be the peaceful world that mankind has longed for. Who are you? I am Amino Sagiri, one who rules the fog. One awakened by man's desires. Do what you will, but your world's erosion cannot be stopped. It is an inevitability. You played your part well, stirring up the will of the masses into madness. But that will soon come to an end. Mankind will soon become shadows and live on in the darkness of the fog, oblivious of their reality. What the hell are you? Why are you doing this? I am the one that shepherds humans to their true desires. Though their hearts longed for peace, it could never be attained. So they tore down the wall between image and reality. Indeed, this is the outcome desired by mankind. And mankind's desires are my desires. That is why I decided to expand this world. You're saying you're the one who created this nasty-ass world? This is part of the sea of unconsciousness that exists within human hearts. A hollow forest born from bloated desire and false imagery. Humans view things as they see fit. They wish not for truth, but rather prefer the undesirables be hidden in fog. Still, humans fear what they cannot see. That brief yearning for truth becomes a ray of light which breaks the fog and torments the shadows. That's why they attack and kill whoever's nearby at that time. A hollow forest. Then, this place isn't simply affected by people's hearts. It actually exists inside them? Mankind abandoned its pursuit of truth, placing itself in the depth of chaos and falsehood. Thus, my strength has grown and the fog will not lift. Your world will be engulfed by the hollow forest. Will you shut up already? 
We'll just use our power to beat the heck out of you and it'll all be over! It was I who made it possible for you to bring about this destiny. I bestowed power onto those who could brave the Hollow Forest. That is what allowed you to come in contact with this world. And you all have done very well since. Bestowed power? Contact with this world? You mean the power to enter the TV? Then the Midnight Channel, was that phenomenon also your doing? Humans fail to see things as they truly are. They choose to see only what they wish. I acted only in support of this. A world filled with desires, viewed through a window from which one sees what one wishes to see. Humans departed from reality of their own volition, craving more false images. A window that shows people what they want to see. So that's why those who got famous suddenly appeared on the Midnight Channel, one after another. It was all in people's minds. I have to say, it must be true. The Midnight Channel we saw in Namatame's hospital room, that kept bothering me since. What we saw there wasn't Namatame's true intentions at all. Then it came on because we were all thinking, this person must be the killer, he can't be forgiven? <laughs> we let ourselves be deluded. Exactly. The more false images one yearns for, the more one stops yearning for reality. And so the forest grows on. That is the expansion of this world. Enough talk already! Long story short, you're the one behind all this! Yeah, I don't know who you are, but you're going down! People want to become shadows? Their desire is your desire? To hell with that! When did we wish for that crap anyways? We kept fighting and fighting like morons to get where we're standing. Yes, that I did not foresee. The ability to master your own shadow that emerged to kill you and use its power. A new and uncertain facet of mankind. Is it worthy to put my trust in? Or not? It must be tested. you want so far, but that'll end when we crush you! Precisely. Then we know what we gotta do now. I don't want people to turn into shadows! We'll defeat it for sure! I'll back you up with everything I've got! This thing has no right to exist! This act which goes against your world's wishes. Now, let everything vanish into the sweet fog of illusion. This is the end. This time, it's all over. Let's finish off ugly here. We ain't about to let a gross-looking eyeball do whatever it wants. Let us begin. I am now 
Merci.
<laughs> Come on down! are strong. Power comes from the heart. You have proven to me human potential. Very well. I will lift the fog from the place where you will return to. Mankind's desires are my desires. If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. I am always at your side, watching. Well, don't wait up! We'll keep that from happening no matter what! Time will show the path humanity takes. Children of the new potential. You think... It was controlling Adachi-san? Who can say? I believe it was at least partially his own intention as well. <sighs> so that's it, huh? <clears> hmm. <throat> Fine. Live however you want. If you think you have the power to change the future, then go right ahead. Everyone has the power to do that. Get out of here. The shadows will finish me off. Just leave me be. You came to kill me in the first place, didn't you? No, dumbass. If we leave you here dying, and a dead body eventually appears, then what? What's that accomplish for anyone? Your stupid game's over. We're taking you back. Live and face your punishment. That's how it works in our world. Right. I'm sure that's the outcome Dojima-san wishes for as well. We have the same power, but things turned out so differently for us. Friends, huh? <laughs> That's the last thing I want to hear about right now. But... Maybe if I had been more like you, things wouldn't have gone this way. Let's go back.
Greetings, Shirogane-san. We got word from Detective Dojima. He's wanted on suspicion of murdering Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi, right? Correct. Understood. We have an ambulance waiting downstairs. Should we have them bring the stretcher up here? An ambulance? Detective Dojima assumed one would be necessary. He wanted the suspect to be carefully taken into protective custody. It... Well, it was a personal favor to him. They were partners, after all. Then yes, please have them bring up the stretcher. Understood. for real. What's up, Senpai? Did you think I was crying? It's just so bright. It's been so long since the sky was that blue. It's finally over. It took us a long time to get this far. But, well... This means... we've won. Huh? What are we doing? Ooh, what's this? Everyone ready? Here goes! We did it! Woohoo! Why didn't you guys say it? You all joined in when Risa John did it! Um... I think that was a little too hard to get on the spot. Which part did you mean for us to say? The woohoo part! Can we just do it over? Man, having to redo something like this kind of kills the fun of it. All right, Chia, do that weird call again. Not if you're going to call it weird. <laughs> um, people are beginning to stare. I don't think we should stay like this much longer. Um... My hand's getting kind of sweaty. Sheesh. Fine, then. It's all yours, Sensei. You don't need to explain it again. Sheesh, then I'll say it. Everyone ready? Here goes. We did our best. woo, -hoo! woo -hoo! Aren't you supposed to do this before you start something, not after it's over? Huh? Sh who cares?
I'm sorry, man. We were going to have the party at my place, but this morning... We saw... Enough! I don't want to hear it! Roaches! All over the place, too. It was like we were being invaded by them. They ate the snack I got from Juness. I would have given them some if they asked. But why'd they take it all? Because you left it on the floor. Ugh. Anyway, we sprayed pesticide everywhere we could reach, and it's full of poison now. I don't want you guys getting sick. That's why we're here instead. S stay away from me, Teddy. I know you got roaches chilling out in that outfit of yours. Oh, gross! Calm down, Kanji. Don't worry about them. In fact, tonight's Christmas Eve. Let's enjoy the party. I'll tolerate all this steamy manliness just for today. Yeah, what the hell? It's all dudes here. I'm gonna spend Christmas with a girl next year. Uh, never mind. Let's enjoy this time together, yeah? Then wanna sing, guys? Let's exchange presents first. Nah, let's not do that. First of all, I don't think anyone's prepared for... I am! I got something from Juness. I, I did too, I, I made it myself. And Simp, I bought the cake. Just kidding, guys. I really did bring a present. Uh, see? Headphones! Wow! Aren't those yours? Uh, right. Um, here's my real present. Those cough drops are yours, too. Fine, fine, I give up. Kanji and Teddy, exchange your presents while I sing, okay? Um, uh, what's the point? All right, I'm gonna go for your present, Kanji. So the case is closed for reals this time. I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. Adachi has confessed his crimes, so I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. I see. Then that really wraps it up. What'll you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? You better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. I won't suddenly disappear like that again. Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, all right? Hey, it's me. Good news. It looks like they're letting Nanako come home for a bit. She's awake again, and she's got a good amount of strength back, too. If all goes well, she might be able to leave the hospital for the time being. And as for me, they said I just needed to see a doctor regularly. So I'm planning to come home with Nanako today. Sorry I had to stick you with all the housework. I'll make up for it somehow. Anyway, see you later. Really? Nanako-chan's coming home? I'm so happy for her. Me too. I'm really glad. The fog's all gone over here because everyone tried so hard. And now Nanachan's gotten better. Nanako-chan tried hard too. She, she's such an amazing girl. <laughs> Seriously. Thank heavens she's okay. <laughs> Where are you touching? Uh. Well, one thing's certain. It's party time! Let's throw a big Christmas party for Nanako-chan! A party, you say? I'm sure Nanako-chan will be delighted. We'll need a cake then. G guys Please say you're not gonna... Huh? We're gonna make one. Of course we're gonna make one. I've already researched the ingredients. 
Hey, wait, wait a sec. Whoa there. That's way too tall an order for you. Let's go to the grocery department. Come on, Natto-kun, you too. But I've never baked a cake. Don't worry, neither have we. It's so warm. So this is the fabled Kotatsu. I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. Yeah, you talked about it all the time at the hospital. Nanako needs to go back for a full checkup early next year, but if they don't find anything wrong, they'll let her go immediately. If I gotten better sooner, we would have been able to buy the Katatsu together. Sorry. Okay, next time, let's go together. Sorry for the wait! Oh no. The Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Bring it on. I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. <sighs> it's a cake! Hey, this is bigger than I imagined. Wait, Nanako-chan! I'll be the first one to... No! It's delicious! It tastes really good! Th that can't be. No. Has she lost all sense of taste? Did you guys really make this? Huh? Uh, of course we did. Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? How is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! You know what they say about true talent not needing to show off. Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. <sighs> then again, this one was our third attempt. Hey, Yosuke! Chie-chan and the others really are talented chefs. Three stars for sure! I impossible. This... Actually tastes good. Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? Um, Nana Chan, guess what I have? Ta da! A Christmas present for you! Oh, it looks just like you! I wish I could have made it look better, but I thought it'd keep you company at the hospital, Nana Chan. Oh, and it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. I'm a guy who's all about using all natural materials. I isn't that nice of him, Nanako? Teddy fur. Uh-huh. Thank you, Teddy. I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. There are still things that are unclear about his story, but he's most likely going to pay for his crimes. Anyway, this was one strange case. If what you said about a world inside the TV was true, then everything might make sense. Though I still don't believe it. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Like Nanako. She made a miraculous recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back in the day, my own senpai on the forest told me something. There's an underside to everything that you can never see. This case has made me think about a lot of things. You've helped us out so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. There isn't much time left until spring, but I hope I can do some catching up until then. That's right. You're only here until spring, huh? Senpai, you're going back? It won't be the same without you. Sensei? Are you going somewhere? Yeah, that's always been the deal from the beginning. <laughs> but it's way too early to talk about that stuff. Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? 
Let's have all the fun we can until then. <laughs> hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. Oh, but then you wouldn't have to go back, huh? Wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai. Yo! Welcome back. tonight now that we can breathe easy but enough small talk now the moment you've all been waiting for I'm your host on the mark Tennyson nice to meet you all let's get this show on the road with concentration knowledge and Teddy's favor go for the go we call it midnight trivia Uh, hold on there. What the heck is this? Oh, is that a question from Mr. Yosuke Hanamura from Inaba? You're damn right I have a question. What the heck's with this set? And why'd you call us all the way in here? Yosuke, can't you play along? I put this together as a celebration for solving the case. Can't you tell? This set is obviously... Obviously? And time's up! The correct answer is... A quiz show! <laughs> Too bad, Yosuke. You lose one point. What? We already started? I'm seriously losing a point for that? All right, then. Let's skip Yosuke and go on introducing the contestants. Hey, listen to me. And what do you mean, skip? Oh, no need to worry. You'll get your share of bear time. Next up, another guest from Inaba, Chie Satanaka! Huh? Who, oh, me? Uh, whose voices are those? Don't tell me we got an audience. Oh, Chie-chan, you're so self-conscious. That crowd is just some sound effects I put together. Too realistic, Bear Brain! Now to the next contestant. Also from Inaba, Miss Yukiko Akagi! I'm supposed to press it as fast as I can, right? Well, someone's eager. And finally, our main contender. Sorry to keep you waiting, dear viewers. The hands down favorite of this tournament. We have a special guest from Inaba, Sensei! He's here to compete! Is it me, or are you the only one who got a grand introduction? Not fair. Now then, contestants, are you ready? I'm being cued to cut it short. Yeah, and where's the AD? Geez, are we really doing this? Mm, I see. 
Yosuke, you're scared, aren't you? You're afraid you can't beat me in a battle of wits, huh? And you won't stand a chance against my brains. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you're on. I got time on my hands. I'll go a couple rounds with you. But don't you go crying to mommy when you get shamed. Oh, way to fall for his trick. Well, I'm sure he'll be satisfied if we play along. And hey, the case is closed. What's the harm in messing around like this every so often, huh? Well, I guess you're right. Well, that's settled. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> All right. It looks like our contestants are ready. Now then. Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz! Let's begin! Are you all ready? Let the quiz begin! Now for the first question. <laughs> Sensei! That one's on the mark! One point! Hmm, you're good. Next question! Chariot! Too bad. That's incorrect. Oh, maybe I'm pushing my luck. Next question! What was it? <laughs> Sensei! one of the poor suckers who tried and failed. I ought to know what it's called. Huh? You did? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Next question! G-H-I! The Midnight Channel! That one's on the mark! One point! Piece of cake! Question number ten! Do sensei how our contestants are doing. Ooh, Sensei is on top! Next question! Chiecha! Wonderfulness! Correct! Sheesh, I only know worthless trivia. Next question! Huh. Sensei! Not bad, partner. Next question. <laughs> Sensei. Correct. Wow, Sensei, you're bearing it up in here. Next question. This is... <laughs> Sensei. Too bad. That's incorrect. That was too bad. Ha <laughs> ha! This next question's a difficult one. Can any of you answer this? Question 15. What was it? Hmm. I know. 29. Correct. What? But there are 28 students in our class. Yes, but you're forgetting. 
getting the teacher's chair. Oh, pretty sneaky, miss. Next question! Fear Sensei! the results the winner as expected is sensei from inaba a bad partner there's no beating you wow good going congratulations Congratulations, Sensei! After his strong showing in the qualifiers, Sensei will be moving on to the playoffs. Playoff? Ted! Oh, didn't I mention that? This is the qualifying round for a playoff spot. I knew it! I'm glad I didn't win. I'll be rooting for you, partner. Oh, I see. There's still the playoffs. Don't get too excited, you. Now then, until next time, take care! Ladies and gentlemen, it's the show you've all been waiting for. At last, it's the playoffs. I'm sure our viewers remember what happened last time. Those memorable qualifiers where Sensei won the day after a heated battle. All the emotion and drama is back tonight for another round. Just like last time, I'm your host on the Mark Teddyson. Now, let's get this show on the road with concentration, knowledge, and Teddy's favor. Go for it's the gold! Back. Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz! It's another show, all right. Not for any viewers, but for us. I had a feeling when Teddy called me up that it would be about this. Hey, how come it's us playing again? I thought this was a playoff. Chan from Inaba? Is that some of the quiz ability you built up during the preliminaries? The only ability she's using is her ability to see the obvious. Why us again? We could have called Kanji or Naoto. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I wanted to call Risei Chan and Nao Chan, but they turned down my formal invitation. Formal invitation? Wait! Does that mean you told them about the quiz show? Well, yeah. How else would they have been able to say no? I don't believe this. There is something seriously wrong with you. Why didn't we get an explanation? Come on, Yosuke. Do I really have to spell it out for you? 
If you guys didn't come, we wouldn't have any contestants, would we? And in that case, the producer, meaning moi, would be in trouble, wouldn't he? Not my problem. You tell him, Yukiko. I won't lose this time. Uh, Miss Amagi? Here she goes again. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Good one, Yuki-chan. You know how to party. Come on, everyone. How about it? I got another cue to move things along. I told you once, there's no AD here. Do you really like quiz shows that much? We already went through one round. You protest now, but you had fun too, didn't you? Have you already forgotten how touched you were on that day? Rekindle that passion. Don't turn your back on your youth. When was I touched? You're not making any sense. Though I did have some fun. Fine, I'll play along. But this is the last time, all right? I guess it's better than Teddy throwing a tantrum. All right, let's do this. <laughs> it looks like our contestants are ready. Now then, Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz. Let's begin the playoffs. Are you all ready? Let the quiz begin. Now, first question. Sensei. It was chapter. Buttons on the mark. One point. All right. Question number ten. Huh. Sensei. Buttons on the mark. One point. Wow. And that's the end of the first half. Let's see how our contestants are doing. Woo! Sensei is on top! Next question! What was it? What was it? This question is mine! 30 kilometers an hour! Buttons on the mark! One point! All right! All that studying for my license paid off! Next question! I know! Cotton candy! Too bad! That's incorrect. Oh, no. Next question. Me, 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 me. Uh, is it Phantom Master? Buttons on the mark. One point. I'm just getting started. Next question. <laughs> it's got to be 
Do this one. Soft serve. Ones. On the mark. One point. <laughs> In the nick of time. Oh, I knew that one too. <laughs> this next question's a difficult one. Can any of you answer this? Question number two. This is. Hmm, what was it? Me? Yuki chan. Class two. Ones. On the mark. One point. Wow, Yukiko, where'd you learn that? Huh? I thought it was common knowledge. Next question. What was it? Uh. Me, 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 me. Black and white. Correct. Phew. Oh, it was pretty dark at the time, so I wasn't really sure that was right. Next question. Gotta be this one. The nurse's office. Ones on the mark. One point. Easy stuff. Next question. Chan. Nakanishi drugs. Ones on the mark. One point. Piece of cake. Next question. Hmm, what was it? Time is running out. This question is mine. Flip flops. Off the mark. Really? I thought, I mean, it was in a sauna, so he'd be wearing, I mean. And here's the final question. I know. Okay, Saturday. Maybe. Off the mark. It wasn't it. I can't just rely on my gut instincts all the time. And that's the end of the round. Let's see the results. The winner is the favorite. <laughs> Sensei from Inaba! I can't beat you at anything. Still, how did you answer those questions? You really are amazing. How much stuff do you know that we don't? Just what I expected from you. Though I'm sad I lost. Congratulations, Sensei! You made it to the finals! F finals? Here we go again. We're done with this crud. What are you saying? A quiz show without finals is like a Sunday with no cherry. The next show will be the last finale. Get set for an all-out battle! What the heck's a last finale? They mean the same thing. Oh, but finals means the last one, right? Thank goodness. I couldn't stand having to do this all the time. Whoa, hold on. You're making it sound like we'll be in the next one. Oh, <laughs> we aren't, are we? Topic distribution looks like. Oh, but there might be rare questions. Is she already working on a plan? Until next time, take care! Gentlemen! Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. We've finally reached the finals! I'm sure that none of you have forgotten that legendary moment. The playoffs, where Sensei claimed his victory. Something tells me tonight is going to be even more intense. Are you ready? I'm your host, as always, On The Mark, teddy Sun. Now, Let's get this show on the road. With concentration, knowledge, and Teddy's favor, this go for is the gold. it! Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz! I'm not even gonna bother. At least we're used to it now. Though, maybe we should think hard about why we came here three times. I will win! From 
the start, you never took your eyes off the prize, huh, Yukiko? You seem a bit down. Well, cheer up! This time, I have a lovely prize in store. Huh? An actual prize? Ah, <laughs> we're at the finals here. The last ultimate finale, you know? Of course I have a prize for the winner. Yeah, uh, last, ultimate, and finale all mean the same thing. Besides, you offering a lovely prize? It's probably something lame, like popsicle sticks or something. Or a new pair of mustache glasses. Oh, stop being excited about this! So what's the prize? <laughs> Taking the bait, huh? But I can't tell you. It's a surprise for the champion! I'll give you my treasure. The crowd is going wild! Let's take a moment to hear what our contestants have to say. Mr. Yosuke Hanamura from Inaba. Hey, don't just ignore our questions and plow on with the show. This is the last time, you hear? Ooh, am I hearing some reluctance to part with the show? Yosuke loves this quiz show more than anything. Will his love finally pay off? Love? What love? How could you possibly get that from what I said? It was so kind of you to say. Listen to me! Next is Miss Chie Satanaka from Inaba. Anything to say to our audience? Huh? Uh... Um... Well... This is the final round, so I'll do my best. <laughs> Who am I saying this to? Oh, Chie-chan, did you forget? Those cheers are just a sound effect. Don't worry. No one's watching. Feel even dumber! All right, next is Miss Yuki Kawamagi from Inaba. Don't talk to me, you'll break my concentration. She, she really means business. Well, that's what makes this the finals. And our last contestant, introducing the favorite to win, the Invincible Quiz King. His winning streak is unstoppable. From the town of Inaba, Sensei! Oh, these fans are shaping up great! We've got an all-star lineup today! We're guaranteed to see some high-level play today! It's been the same lineup since the qualifiers! Enough talk, just get on with it. You already got your cue, right? <laughs> You're getting the hang of these showbiz terms, Yosuke! It looks like the contestants are all ready! Now then, Midnight Trivia Miracle Quiz, the last finale! Let the championship begin! Are you all ready? Let the quiz begin! Now, first question. Chia Chia. 29, the meat number! That one's on the mark! One point! Wait, what? Because two is me, and nine is ku, and meat is me ku! Get it? Next question! What was it? Hold on there. This is... Sorry, guys! Dekaja? Off the mark! I was wrong? Next question! Time is running out! Hmm... Um... Here I go! Yosuke! Kunino Sagiri! Correct! Score one for Yosuke! Next question! Sensei! That one's on the mark! One point! Not bad, partner. A chance for double marks! Whoever correctly answers this question will earn double points! Here we go with the fifth question! Um... This question is mine! Chagall! Correct! Score one for Yosuke! Next question! Do sensei Too bad. That's 
incorrect. Don't worry about it. Next question. What? <laughs> Sensei. Nothing less of you. Next question! What was it? Uh... Me? Yuki-chan! Kill Rush! Too bad. That's incorrect. Huh? It's not? Next question! Uh... Correct. No way. Question number ten. What was it? Do sensei. Correct. Uh oh. And that's the end of the first half. Let's see how our contestants are doing. Wow. Yosuke is currently in the lead. Question! <laughs> Sensei! That one's on the mark! One point! You're incredible! Next question! <laughs> Sensei! Ooh, correct again! Wow, you really are incredible! Next question! What was it? <laughs> I see you're all lost in thought. Me, 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 me. Anybody gel, duh. That one's on the mark. One point. I'm just getting started. Next question. Me, 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 me. 28. Correct. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. This next question's a difficult one. Can any of you answer this? Question for the team. Um. Here I go. Yosuke. 209. Correct. Score one for Yosuke. Next question. Um. Time is running out. <laughs> Sensei. You're good. Next question. Hold on there. Me? Yuki-chan. I think... Nine. Correct! I got it! Thank goodness. Next question. Hmm, what was it? Um... Yuki-chan. Six days. Correct! No way! How do you remember that? I always make sure to check because I do the laundry on sunny days. Next question! <laughs> I see you're all lost in thought! I know! Chopin! Ooh, correct again! I think I'm warming up! And here's the final question! Sensei! That one's on the mark! One point! Wow, you really are incredible! And that's the end of the round. Let's see the results. The winner is... just can't win. How perfect are you? Wow. I mean, wow! Okay, I give up. There's no beating you. I lost again. But against you, maybe it was inevitable. Congratulations, Sensei. I knew it all along. You're number one at everything. Now 
let's go see your lovely prize. Right this way. Huh? What is it? An all-you-can-eat steak buffet? No, Chie, it's a new pair of mustache glasses. It's neither of those. That's just your wishful thinking. <laughs> all right, the time has come for you to get your lovely prize. And that prize is... A steamy smooch from Teddy! Huh? That means... Ugh, that's so like him. Here I come! All of a sudden, I'm glad I didn't win. Oh, come on now! Wait for me! Sensei, there's no need to be so bashful! So, what are we gonna do about this? Oh, uh, well, we need to end it, right? It's a show, after all. A show no one's watching. Hey, hey you never know, just in case. An outro, right? I always wanted to try doing one. You're really into this on every level, aren't you? Now then. Thanks for watching, everyone. Farewell. Farewell. Wait up, Sensei! They're still at it. Outside, though. Does this mean the Midnight Channel's off the air? I'm being serious here. Now that we beat that Amino Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you, though. Yeah, all of us together, we did it. Man, all these things are coming back to me, like when I put you on the spot and asked you to be our leader. <laughs> what am I getting all worked up for? The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet she is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Seriously, though. Thanks. Sorry. Whew. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuro Toshi, had already started, so I rushed out here. Sorry we're late. Hellos! I'm sorry, sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. Ah, you're such a good bear. Me? It was 100% your fault. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices. 
do 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 do. Talking about you, you little. Moving on. Hey, Sensei, where's Nana chan and her dad? You doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Dojima san and Nanako chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Well, then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys' night celebration? N no lovely girls? Hell no. Man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. I wonder if they're all meeting up at Yukiko Senpai's house first. You know, like to put on their kimonos. K kimonos? Did you hear that, S -s -s Sensei? Kimonos! Right, we don't know anything. Don't get all worked up for kimonos yet, Teddy. Kimonos! I might go into Kodiak arrest! Ugh, this guy. Although I must say, seeing Rizet in a kimono would be quite a sight. Oh, maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... I'm sorry about the wait. Sorry. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. Uh. Huh. Uh... What's with the non-reaction? What? Oh, where are your kimonos? Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own? Don't take it out on us! A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. She wasn't implying. My heart just froze over. Um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Actually... I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah. Alright everyone, let's get going! Not Amazaki over there. Uh uh. Not till New Year's. Hey, how huh? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Happy New Year! I'm glad we're here together. New Year's here. Finally, the New Year. Let's here. make this year a great oh, happy new year, year both year of you. Too, partner. Thank you. <laughs> it's not your <laughs> celebration. No, nope, none for you, Rise. What? And the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's snowing. Wow. Oh. Huh. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Oh. What? Hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> <laughs> Moranji! Shut up! The leading group has crossed the big Showa Bridge, and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Ah, there you are. All right, are we ready then? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, big bro. Will probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year.
In any case, you've changed over this past year. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. I feel relieved since so much happened. <laughs> Looks like we got your personality from my sister. Dad, can we eat yet? All right, let's dig in. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks for the food! Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. Uh... Uh... Kobumaki! Sorry for the wait. Happy New Year! Oh wait, I already told you that. So, um, how does my kimono look? That makes me feel like a little girl at a wedding being told she's cute for dressing up like a grown-up. But, I guess I'm still happy that you said I'm cute. Since I'd never really considered wearing a kimono on New Year's until now, and because of my tomboyish personality, my family teased me so much about wearing my kimono out today. The moment seemed right, so I decided to tell all of them about you. Um, well, that's it. Well, time to visit the shrine. Have you decided what your wish will be? Oh, right. They say that your wish won't come true if you tell someone else. I'll keep mine a secret, too. I'm gonna wish for something I absolutely want to come true. All right. Since I really want my wish to come true, I'm not gonna skimp. 500 yen offering! Let's go draw fortunes! This place doesn't make special New Year's fortunes that are better, so you gotta focus on drawing a good one. Okay? These things never are right. Just ignore it. Don't let it get to you. I totally won't let it get to me, either. Until a little while ago, I would get really depressed every time I thought about you leaving in March. But now it's starting to not bother me. Because now I realize that the distance between us won't matter. I love you so much, after all. <laughs> what a cheesy line, right? Yikes, it's freezing! We should get some coffee somewhere. My house? Oh, well, that, that's fine. But everyone's at home. I mean, you remember that I told my family about you today, right? So, it would be like I was introducing you to my family? Uh, I can't do that! My heart's not ready for that! The next time, we can go to my house next time. Why don't we just go to Juness?
Welcome back. Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? Hey, I want to make a snowman! A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. What about you, big bro? Nanako, don't get too worked up, all right? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Uh-huh. Big bro, that's amazing! How did you get it so big? about that in some manga when I was at the hospital. If you have guts, then you can get a cool frog t-shirt or become the best boncho. All right, I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. <laughs> hey, don't be like that. It wouldn't hurt to share some credit. There. It's done! It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. We're gonna draw a face? Hey, Big Bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Can you make the face look like Teddy? You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. Thanks, big bro. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. Aw, already? I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me. Happy New Year. This is where we 
All right. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do you have here? My, quite formal of you. I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Ah, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. I do not know everything. This room is tightly bound to your fate. My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers, and we always change. You may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. I do not know either. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you to her. I must warn you though, 
It may involve danger. What is your choice? Very well. Please give me some time. Once I am prepared, I will come for you. Please wait until then. Welcome back. Happy New Year! Oh wait, I already said that. I hope we get along this year too! But I already said that! <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Thank you for inviting me in. You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local. And the snow quality is supposed to be pretty good, too. What do you think? Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. They both said that they're free, too. So I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Yukiko is usually busy during this season, too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Ooh. Another overnight event. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak in? Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. It ain't over till it's over. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? Ah, you guys are here. Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. We should be back by the middle of the month. Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. But I'm all better! You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Don't worry, I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Well then, sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. See you, big bro! Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? I know! I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back. Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Wowee! Now that's my sensei! You're agreeing just like that? Man, I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bare longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out.
Well, I came to say goodbye. It's been fun. I'm sorry. Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. <sighs> I love you. Now and forever. So, goodbye. <laughs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. Goodbye. Of course. Yo!
I really did like you back then. Do it. 
ん。You here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. Well, it's actually customer's day for me today. That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customers. We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time too. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. So I asked them to sign me up. Oh? Well, I'm always dedicated, though. I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having Mother and everyone say things like, Welcome to me. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. I told everyone at the inn that I hadn't planned to take over as manager, that I wanted to leave Inaba. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. It made me realize how small I was. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems alone. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, Every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. into someone completely different. I keep finding sides of myself I never noticed before, and I love every one of them. It would make me happy if you did too. Please, continue to stay at my side. Oh, Sensei's home!
What's up? about finding answers to the questions I had before. He and Mom are the ones who gave me life. Then, what can I do for the people who gave me this life? For the people who have supported me? I've been thinking about it all this time. going to run from my own life anymore. After all, I'm the only person who can live it. I'm sorry. And thank you. Um, can you take this? You gave me the opportunity to start walking. Okay with me? Um... You jerk! You jerk! Are you going to make me come out and say it? You know exactly what I mean! Welcome back! Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Senpai. Thank you, Senpai. Was it okay to come out today? Did you have anything you needed to do? You remember when I told you before that I had a number one fan? A girl who was being bullied and would send me letters? She sent me another letter. She says she's going to stop being my fan. She's made friends with someone, but... Her new friend is a fan of someone else. It seems she was told something like, I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Rosette fan. She did say that she'll be cheering for me in her heart, but she won't be sending me any more letters. You mean you, Senpai? <laughs> you really are kind. Relationships between people are difficult, aren't they, Senpai? There's something like a mutual respect between her and me. I don't even know what she looks like, but I know she has a pure heart. I also know that she's persistent, but when another person enters the picture, things suddenly get complicated. Throw in four or five people and it's pure chaos. There's no malice involved and it's no one's fault, yet we end up hurting each other, becoming lost. It, it makes me so tired sometimes. But that's why I want to keep trying my best. I mean, I am an idol after all. Thanks. An idol isn't some doll in a window being held up for public display. I think it means somebody who can endure things and stand their ground, no matter which way they're pushed. Even if that girl doesn't write me letters, I bet she'll still watch me if I'm on TV. I can be her strength, as well as many other people's strengths. Even though many things may not go my way and I may be troubled, swept off my feet and get lost, I won't lose. I have to protect the smiles of the people who are precious to me. That's the resolve I found after meeting all of you.
sense of power inside of me that I didn't have before. I've learned so many important things from the people I hold dear to me. Senpai, I feel like my heart is about to burst. I'm so excited about the future now. Hardship and sadness and everything, it can all be changed into the power to take a step forward. I'm still just getting started. You and everyone else, you're all gonna keep changing too, in your own ways. That's why I'm not scared of a long-distance relationship either. When I'm lonely, my love for you will grow stronger. And when I smile on TV, I'm smiling for you. So you smile too, senpai. And tell me you love me every once in a while, okay? Sensei's home.
My moves are as sharp as always. Hmm. I guess this is more my thing after all. Oh. My shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Huh? No, that's okay. No thanks. When Yukiko gave me one the other day, I got so ticklish that I almost died laughing. Actually, I was... Oh, you promise you won't laugh? I was studying and stuff. <laughs> this is me we're talking about after all. But nope, it's no joke. <laughs> I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I thought, if my life had been different, I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realized that no matter how trivial something seems, it's related to my life. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then, the things they did, their culture, it's all connected and it's tied to me too. It's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, cried, and died there. Math and physics too. They may not make any sense to me, but they're things I can use to help me understand the world. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up, and then I'd come back to it again. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? Hey, I'm still just getting started. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. But I think what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them and myself, I can always find a path. That's what I think. will help me do more to protect the ones I love. That includes you too, you know. Since I love you. <laughs> Did that sound like I was proposing to you? Uh, yeah. It wasn't meant as a proposal. <laughs> I guess it did. Yes. 
Sensei's home. to have this. Good night. Yo!
you have my gratitude. This place is covered in snow too. It's chilly, but I like the winter and its tranquility. Things have become so peaceful lately. I finally feel like I've gotten used to it. The people of Inaba are thinking about the events that transpired and are making an effort to make the town better. I've heard that a lot of local government projects are being considered, such as bringing back old festivals. It would seem that they're trying to revitalize the town commercially, but I think the people yearn for connection. But as time passes, everything fades away eventually. Whenever I handle a serious case, I always come across a certain problem. Man can forget about painful memories, and in doing so, wipe away tears and learn to stand up again. But because we forget, we repeat the same mistake that caused those bad memories in the first place. Being able to get used to difficulty is a strength, but people make mistakes because they get set in their ways. But after meeting you, I feel as if I've found an answer to these doubts. I feel that as long as you can find something precious in your heart, something to protect, you'll be okay. And as long as you have that precious someone, no matter how much you forget, you can strive for a better future. Of course, I have people who are precious to me as well. That's why I'm thinking about doing whatever I can for them too. This isn't just about me. I draw my strength from everyone else. They keep me alive. I've never considered things like that before. And of course, the ones who taught me to think that way are none other than you and all my other friends. Thank you. Really. There's a new power budding in my heart. I wonder if this means that I'm still capable of change. I'm going to keep learning from here on. And as long as I do, I can always change. That doesn't just apply to me. I'm sure the same can be said about you too. I'm starting to look forward a bit to getting older. Me, you, and everyone else is going to keep changing. We'll all be having effects on each other, all those years. I want to watch how all of us change each other all throughout my life. That's what I truly want. Welcome home. This is good.
Uh huh. All right. I can still do it. This is for you. All right, let's go home. <laughs> yeah, well, I quit pretending. Mm hmm <laughs> what what <laughs> oh. <laughs> thanks man <laughs> Really? Thanks. Welcome home. Here, take this. See you again.
Yes. Must have wanted to live more, huh? Poor sis. See you again. Oh, Sensei's home. accept it. Good night. It's been a while since I last talked to you one-on-one -on -one like this. It's been pretty busy in the department I work in. I'm still doing that consultation thing, too. I caused you some trouble, too, with that message, Juness. Really? <laughs> That's good to know. Back then, I was constantly irritated, wondering why that stuff was happening to me. I was overworked just because I was the store manager's son. And on top of that, tons of people took me for granted. I thought no one was thinking about me. But that's not how I feel now. I took a roundabout way realizing this, but one constant in my life is that people rely on me. 
I thought before that I was shameless for being like that, but I just don't mind it. When I'm doing things for other people, it helps me try harder. When Nanako-chan was kidnapped, didn't you think I was surprisingly on top of things? Huh? Well, um, wait, you had other guys there with you too. In any case, I tried pretty hard at the time. Of course, I was serious about wanting to save Nanako-chan and solve the case. But mainly, it was because I thought you were going through some tough times. When we were debating dropping Namatame into the TV, I was just seeing red. I was so overwhelmed with hate and wanting to blame everything on him that I stopped thinking for myself. I think the same could be said about what happened to Juness. People just think about their own interests. But if I ignore them and say it's none of my business, I won't get anywhere. I'll forget what's important, and I won't be able to be proud of myself. I won't be able to say I did my best. I want to keep pushing myself like that. I want the people I care about to be happy. Is this for real? There's a lot I'm grateful for from this past year, but the biggest thing, I think it was that I met you. If you ever lose your way, I'll go knock some sense into you. It won't matter if you're at the ends of the earth or in somewhere dark and bleak. That's what partners are for, right? Welcome back! one of those honey I'm home kisses oh don't be so shy smoochy smoochy come on please ah, my pheromones are too powerful I came on too strong stop break cut it's all a mistake 
mistake. Today's the day Nana-chan comes back, so I've been practicing hard to greet her. Oh, I know. Sensei, what does it mean to glomp somebody? I found that in one of Yosuke's books, and I'm pretty sure it's romantic. All right, Sensei! I knew I could count on you! Oh, it's a bear hug! I can do that! My heart's beating so fast! I feel like I'm being swept away! What the hell are you two doing? Here too! Nanachan, you're all better! Easy there, Nanako. You don't want to get hurt again. Nah, uh The doctor said I'm all better! <sighs> well, she's been so strong this whole time. Who am I to argue? I owe you a lot for this, so I've gotten us a fancy dinner for tonight. Look, we bought sushi, and it says premium on the package. That means it's super fancy. I call the Harame and Kohara. Okay, well, I was able to say hello to Nanachan, so I guess I'll be going now. You're going home already? Now that you're home, Sensei won't be lonely anymore, so... Plus, I'm... Not a family member. Sensei, so I can stay here? You're Big Bro's friend and my friend. Friends can stay here. Right, Dad? Don't worry about it. It's just sushi. We're celebrating today. Pops! I'm such a lucky bear! Wow! It's shinier than usual! It did cost a pretty penny. Mmm, yeah. That's good stuff. Mmm. Shoot. I forgot to ask them not to put wasabi on it. Here, Nanako, I'll scrape yours off. Which do you want? Maybe we should have split it into separate portions first. No! Oh, it's so good! So good! Oh, so good! Yo!
Yeah. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so... I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. C confess my love to, to, to who? Um, I want to give it to Ma. Well, you strike me as a chick magnet. I thought you might know all about what women like. I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Teasing me. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, you've changed. She said, your father and I are proud of you, son. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright, and I keep causing her all this trouble. She says she's proud of me. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just, I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right, though. I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's going to be proud of me. Still, I want to become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm going to spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I, I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. It takes a hell of a strong man to say that, Sensei. Got a long way to go. Well then, let's make that gift. My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. 
hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> if we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Mom always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? even more energetic than before. Man, am I glad you're okay. When you went missing, I swear that was the most scared I've ever been. Plus, uh... Um, I don't really remember what happened. I'm sorry. Nanako-chan. Yosuke, you need to practice not sticking your foot in your mouth. I mean, seriously. Sorry. You can't blame her for not remembering. It was the same for us. Besides, it's better that she forget. That's right! Nanako-chan is better now, and that's all that matters! Oh yeah, is Dojima-san coming by? Dad, he went to work today. We'd just be bothering him if we asked him to come here. We're supposed to be celebrating, not having him buy us lunch. Because I'm sure that's what he'd do. Nanako-chan, aren't you bored just sitting and talking here? No, it's fun being with everyone. There's plenty of snacks, too. Nana-chan, let's go see all the food tasting stands. The kind ladies will cook you anything you want right in front of you. No, they don't. I know they're always yelling at you. What about Tag, then? You run around, and then these scary guys come after you. It's so thrilling. That's store security. Heck, your whole idea of fun is just pissing people off. And no running! That'd be fun to play hide-and-seek in a store this big. Hide-and-seek? I'm good at that. Both the hiding and the seeking. Oh. Big Bro, did you come find me? Wait, that's... Nanako-chan? Do you remember? Not... Really? But I remember everyone coming for me. You are all cool, like those heroes on TV. Nana-chan. I was able to become Nana-chan's hero. Don't cry, Ted. I'm, I'm allergic to people who cry. <laughs> I see. You remember. Then let's do it for reals. Juness Hide and Seek. Really? Is that okay? We still have time before the special announcements. Plus, there's no need to run and hide and seek. If I tell my manager, I'm sure he'll let us use the electronics section. That's my boss! I'll be rooting for you when you write your apology! If I get permission, then I won't have to write one. This is so exciting! Nanako-chan, which part do you want to do first? Um, both! All right, winner gets meat! Why are you betting? None of this makes sense. <laughs> 
you're back. Yo. Trying not to think about it all this time. But I finally feel like I can face reality. No. to give it to you.
Um, I really want to thank you. Oh, welcome back. 